Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Caleb. Hope this message meets you in the peace of Jesus. I hope everybody out there is doing well. I'm here with another message from the future, reporting from Kansas City. Uh, let me say a prayer before I get into this word. Father, I thank you for your word. Uh, please let it go forth through me. And uh, I pray that they would understand exactly what you're telling them, Lord. I pray angelic protection over this family. Uh, and I pray that the Holy Spirit would would travel through these means of communication and influence the lives uh, and and better them of the people watching. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Oh, I did design a couple of t-shirts. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get to where I can show them to you. I'm not exactly sure how to do that or not, but it's pretty cool. It's one, it says profit, and I think it's pretty cool. So, and the other one says, uh, don't breach the anointing if you know what's good for you. So, Okay, the Lord says it's 1500. It's 1500. Uh, the Lord says it's tomorrow morning. Uh, I heard I lost my watch. Now, there is a certain individual. Uh, he's a he's a homeless on the streets in Omaha, and I, you know I used to work with the homeless. And uh, last year or the year before, he said he wanted a watch. Uh, so I kept my eye out for a watch for him, and I finally got him one. And uh, I had it in my backpack, and I knew I would run into him. So I handed it to him a couple weeks ago, and I'm not, not bragging or anything. I'm just telling you that so I can tell you this part of the story. And I heard him say, I lost my watch. So it looks like he lost his watch, which is that's too bad. Uh, he was That was really special for him. So, All right. Um, the Lord says, it's leaving now. It's leaving now. The Lord says, number two, I saw a vision of a woman with straight brown hair, and I heard she's beautiful, and I said, yeah, she is beautiful, because she, she is beautiful. If you're out there, you're beautiful. Um, the Lord says, Minneapolis, Minneapolis, uh, the Lord says, you're famous. Uh, the Lord says, exclusive, exclusive. The Lord says, did you see the protein announced? Did you see the protein announced? Uh, the Lord says, supplied, supplied. The Lord says, did you wash those? Uh, the Lord says, what's on your head? <laughs> the Lord says, throw the comfort away. And the Lord says, distract you. The Lord says, 128 after job search. 128 after job search. The Lord says, of course they do. The Lord says, because you never know. Because you never know. The Lord says, get ready. I keep asking him. Get ready for what? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. I've been hearing get ready for months. I'm just not, I'm not really sure how to get ready for something if I don't know what it is. But get ready. Uh, I heard a voice say, my name's Kenny. And I think uh, actually that was probably a demonic entity. Entity because uh, as I've said before, when you ask or when you command them to give you their names, they don't have to do it right away. They wait weeks or months and uh, this isn't the first time it happened. He said, my name's Kenny. So I, I bound and rebuked him, uh, and uh, he was not happy about that. So I thought Kenny was kind of a strange name for, for a demon, but who am I to say? Okay, uh, the Lord says, I said you were sleeping. I said you were sleeping. Okay, this one, I was not going to say it. I was like, Lord, I can't say that, and... I have to say everything, otherwise I'll get in trouble. That's what he said. So uh, so it goes, the Lord says, will you do my laundry? And I don't know what this means, and he's not like literally asking you to do his laundry. I don't, I don't know what it means, but I have to say it, because I said I wasn't going to do it, and the next word he said was trouble. So I'm going to say it. So will you do my laundry? Uh, the Lord says, trouble. The Lord says, way up there, way up there. <clears throat> the Lord says, dropped him off. Uh, the Lord says, thanksgiving. 
The Lord says they'll break. The Lord says dance in the dark. I had a dream. I was fishing with a friend from school, from high school and middle school, and I was not enjoying it. I was chasing a mouse under the sheet in my mom's bed. I helped the cat catch the mouse. Then some little girl came and set the mouse free, and it flew away. Then something about butterflies and hummingbirds. Then I was holding some kind of bagpipe. It looked like a football with four pipes on top. I walked up and started squeezing things, squeezing the thing randomly. It sounded absolutely terrible. I woke up, and I was laughing like I was just laughing my head off just it was it was it was hilarious it was there was four of us and we were just screaming these like they were like giant cross between whoopee cushions and bagpipes it was it was really funny it's the funniest dream I've ever had in my life <clears throat> okay the Lord says seven seven uh, I saw a vision of a hand pushing what looked like a traffic light <clears throat> uh, the Lord says Delaware. I don't think this is for me. I think it's for, for somebody out there. He says Delaware. <clears throat> the Lord says prune the liar. Prune the liar. The Lord says that'll get you one. The Lord says red pharaoh. And I had a thought of uh, uh, the Nazis and how they, ex how they enslaved the physical descendants, uh, physical descendants of Israel, and I saw the uh, the swastika in the red. Uh, so red Pharaoh. I, I I don't know if they were trying to call Hitler the red Pharaoh, but that's kind of what came to my mind. So red Pharaoh. It's kind of interesting. <clears throat> the Lord says, "You are pardoned. You are pardoned." The Lord says, "Just a minute." I was getting ready to go down and eat breakfast this morning, and he said to wait just a minute. So I went to count a minute, and he said two or three. So I waited three minutes. He had to avoid something, I guess. And, you know, I give him all praise, honor, and glory for protecting me like that. Uh, and the Lord says, I'm not going to stop. He's not going to stop. And I'm not going to stop either. So uh, I thank you all for, for subscribing. Hit, please hit the like and subscribe. I'll try to get my, uh, my shirts uh, to where I can show them to you, try to show you those shirts uh, soon. Uh, I'm not the greatest with that. I mean, I learned quickly, but I've never done it before. So, And a, part of the problem is I'm switching from, uh, from Mac or Apple iOS to uh, Android. So you can't use uh, a Gmail account with iCloud and all my passwords were on my phone and in the cloud so they're available somewhere on my Mac but I'm not really sure I'm still learning how to how to get them all put together so I've been having to redo redo a lot of passwords but the shirt says profit like that and it's it's in some really cool writing and the other ones uh, don't breach the anointing and then on the back it says if you know what's good for you so uh, and that's the truth so uh, I thank you all. I love you all. Uh, I'm accepting donations. Uh, if the Lord leads you to sow, it's greatly appreciated and needed. Uh, I will talk to you soon. I'll be back with another message from the future.